Greetings Laddingtons, this is me checking in, quick video, I just wanted to say that I was wrong about a year ago when I made a video titled The Decline and Fall of Twitter, obviously a play on Edward Gibbon's work The Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire. Now I didn't foresee Elon Musk coming in to rescue the whole operation. Earlier this year I made a video where I was cautiously optimistic about the um, purchase and then when he actually bought Twitter I was still a bit cautious in proclaiming it as a victory for freedom of speech but now I can only say that he has stuck to his principles of freedom of speech and I can only salute him for it so Elon Musk if you happen to see this I salute you now of course when we're talking about freedom of speech I also want to salute Andrew Torba of Gab who has been taking this fight for many years now and has never backed down so keep that in mind even though we have you know a um, revival of Twitter we shouldn't forget the alt tech that has been with us um, either so Gab still a good place to be and it isn't really a competitor or alternative to Twitter but rather a competitor an alternative to Facebook so Twitter and Gab they aren't really similar at all if you think about it more similar to Facebook anyway that is a different topic now on to the most interesting thing and um, this is a great white pill in my book at least and that is as you see before you Elon Musk saying that he will make an alternative phone should Apple and Google boot Twitter from their app stores now optimal scenario would actually be that they do boot off Twitter and he makes a new phone. I would be first in line to buy such a phone. Right now I have a Samsung and Android and uh, I'm not a fanboy of either uh, Android or um, uh, or Apple so I would definitely buy um, a Tesla phone. It would be cool and then you can use Twitter from that phone. Perhaps even Gab would be allowed on uh, their app store. Who knows? Who knows? Very interesting timeline indeed we have entered I will and I would say that this is a great victory for uh, freedom of speech and another white pill is that I have I think at least I am now unshadow banned on Twitter there was a while there where I didn't have any reach at all but now I've had a few posts that um, have gotten some more reach so it doesn't have quite the same feel so I do believe that a lot of shadow bans are over and of course many older accounts have been reinstated. I saw Sargon of Akkad is back. Welcome back Sargon. Good to have you back. Um, so yeah, good times, good times. And something else I would say that Twitter actually for the first time, for as long as I can remember, is actually more fun than Instagram. I've always thought Instagram is a more fun uh, place to be, more higher vibe, more energy there. But now actually Twitter, it feels like it has a certain vibe, a certain pulse that um, it feels fun again, which it didn't a year ago, which of course is natural when you have a group of left-wing extremists uh, sitting at the Twitter office to um, uh, to censor people for even being for even being a sensible centrist, to use that terminology. So anyway, I just want to say that I was wrong. I couldn't have predicted that Elon Musk would come in to make Twitter great again. Um, it's too early to say what will happen with Twitter. Maybe it will be you know go in a completely different direction maybe he won't uphold freedom of speech I have no idea I'm just saying at the moment it feels like a good place to be and I have started to be a bit more active there as a result it does feel more fun so do check out all the links in the description box below do of course follow me on twitter and um, yeah thank you for watching feels absolutely great mate xoxo boom